If you're doing this course and you have upgraded to DaVinci Resolve 18, there's some really cool new features that I'm gonna show you in the series of workshops coming up. So the first one we're going to look at is creating a depth map. So in this clip, you'll see I've got an interview and the background is a little bit blurred, but I want to blur it more. So if I open the color page and I just connect my node tree. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna do a really quick auto grade on that. Normally I'd spend a little bit more time grading this clip, but I shot this in log and this session isn't about grading. So let's do this super quick. So we're just there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go down into my effects library and type depth map and I'm just gonna drag that in to our node tree there and just connect it up there. So connect the green up and connect the alpha channel up across and I need to connect it to my output. So whatever I do in my depth map will be seen in the timeline. So if I click that, you'll notice I get this black and white. So if I just uncheck depth map preview and recheck it, you can see what's happening here. So if I invert that, everything that I do in terms of the effect is going to affect the white. So I'm just going to adjust these parameters here. There we go, just to get a much more definitive edge. And I'm doing this really quick. When you do it, take a little bit of time I mean, the purpose of this is just to show you how to use it, but that looks pretty decent. Okay, so what happens next? So what we need to do now is we need to create an effect that we're gonna use our depth map. So if I go down here and do a lens blur, for example, just type in there, blur, and you'll see all the blurs that will come up. So there's all the different types there. Let's use a Gaussian blur. So we're just gonna put that on, and as you can see, it's affected the entire clip there. Now I don't want that to affect the entire clip. What I want to do is I want it to affect the background and not the foreground. So how are we gonna fix this? So what we need to do is connect our alpha across to that. Let's reinvert that. Let's have a look here. And just uncheck our depth map. And there you go. You can see that our background is really blurry. Now I wouldn't normally do it this strong. This is just for the purpose of showing you how to use a depth map. Just to adjust that a little bit. So you can use a depth map on anything. So you can color grade the foreground, you can color grade the background. If you can think it and it requires depth, so separating your foreground and background, you can do it using a depth map. It's a really great addition to DaVinci Resolve 18. So I'm just gonna quickly play with these parameters here so you can just see. So you can go for faster grade or you can go for better. I always go for better, but it does take a little bit longer. So if you don't have a powerful computer, you might want to think about going for faster. You of course can keep adding to this as you wish so you can scroll down and add to it, etc. But for now, I'm gonna leave this here. Have a play with it, see what you can come up with. And I look forward to seeing the results of you guys using your depth map.